In Sokoto State, like you know, some of these, the northern states need intervention because of um, certain indices, like the culture of the people, the attitude to Western education, and maybe the economic well-being of the people, which discourage people from attending schools, women not showing interest in attending schools, and then teachers not doing what they're supposed to do. There's a need for this kind of training to at least uh, bring them up to date, to keep them at breast with the current happenings in the educational industry. We seek to achieve that uh, teachers' knowledge is updated uh, in the area of three core subjects of English, math and science. We are improving the capacity of those teachers to be more effective in class. And so they support the kids, they are able to use 21st century skills for instance, and therefore the kids are able to learn. There are new things, new innovations that they were not aware of. They are now getting to know about these innovations. They are getting to know about the new techniques in teaching, methodology, you know, new approaches to, to teaching. And then when you look at the quality of teaching, you discover that um, there's a need for the teachers to be upgraded in their approach to teaching. And um, it's, it's not only Sokoto, I think most of the Northern states have this problem. Sokoto, as indeed many schools, not just Sokoto, we worked with Owandu Foundation to train teachers to improve their content knowledge and also pedagogy. What they've done is developed a program where teachers' capacity is strengthened. Teachers is a blended approach. You have teachers' capacity being strengthened using information technology, where they have their lesson notes recorded. It's where they can go back home or leave the class and listen, either listen or watch those, those lessons to remind themselves of how exactly they're meant to approach each topic or each subject in the classroom. We work with these teachers to make sure that you just need to help the kid to be who they are, to make sure that you create expectation because every child can learn and every child has a talent. Every child that is in school should be given an opportunity. Teachers' knowledge needs to be updated from time to time, especially now that we are in the era of uh, technology. And even our, in our session notes, we included something like uh, educational technology, e-learning, and we are also trying to see how we can motivate teachers to be using these e-learning tools so that they can have a kind of self-study ways of enriching themselves with the state-of-the-art knowledge. There are new innovations that are coming into education, and if they are not exposed to this new innovation, they will find it difficult to achieve instructional objectives, especially when they are in the classroom. But this kind of training is exposing them to techniques that they will use to help children quickly understand the idea behind every concept they are presenting to the children. We started working with an implementing partner in 2016. And what they did was help us replicate this, but then they've sort of summarized the lessons we've learned and made it easier and less unwieldy for implementation by ministries of education in different states where we work. So we have what we call blended approach. You do a face-to-face, -face, you meet with the teachers, you work with them through some theories, you model good practice for them and then you support them online as well and encourage them with materials so that they can improve their capacity. The teachers are actually appreciating the training because uh, from the way they are committing themselves, from the way they are actively participating, from the way they are giving contributions to all the things they are asked to do, it is an indication that the teachers are ready to change and they are also showing readiness to carry what they are being trained on to their respective schools.
I learned new method of teaching, system of grouping peoples, and uh, inclusion. Do not show discrimination to the peoples. You have to bring them close to you. Kuma, I learned numeracy and uh, literacy. I learned ways of teaching people reading skills in English language. We learn many things about teaching, like activities lesson, or active lesson and indicator, classroom management, classroom organization, classroom language, classroom organization, that is how you can organize or group in your purpose to share ideas and so, so on. The benefits of this training to me cannot be overemphasized because I have learned a lot of things such as how to handle my fulfills, how to keep the school record, how to be also interact with the different people, modernize my teaching in the class, and the way that I also assess my fulfills. I'm proud of Owando Foundation training. I learned a lot that I can't even express it because before, I don't know how to group my pupils in, te in, te in teaching them. But now, through Owando Foundation, I learned that if I went to class, I will group my children, I will not work with them individually, we are going to work in group. Uh, in this training, I've improved my knowledge of uh, being conversant with new innovative techniques that will help me to deliver my lesson and it will enhance the student's understanding of my lesson. We have learned how to observe our students in the class, classroom management, and how to control our purpose by grouping peers or in three. I learned more things in this wonder training that before I don't know it, how to handle my class or how to handle my pupils. But now through this training, I learn more and I know how to handle my people when I go back to my school. It will be enough to just train people here for just a week and they expect a very good step down in the classrooms. There should be continuity. There's a need to, to make it either twice in a year or at least every year, there should be this kind of training. And after the training, there has to be a follow-up. We have to go and see them in the classrooms, what we call a school support visit, SSV. When they see you, they get to remember some of the things that I've done in the workshop. We can't just do training and pause. There has to be a follow-up. And that is why trainings are organized for head teachers, the SSOs, who are the school support officers, likewise the members of SBMCs, that are the school-based management committees. Mm -hmm. These are people that will help in terms of implementation. They will be the ones to assist. We also go around to supervise, to monitor them, if at all this particular training are being implemented in schools. Owando Foundation is the key partner to NSF development. We've worked with them to train teachers. We've also worked with them to train, to, we've trained over 2,000 teachers. And most of these teachers have been trained more than once. So you do the first phase of training, and then you come back to do the second phase of face-to-face -face training, and then you do online support. So we've trained teachers, we've trained head teachers, and their assistants. We've also trained um, school support officers for them. These school support officers are supposed to be like master trainers, so that even when NSF is not there, the school support officers continue to do the training and then continue to support the teachers at the school level. What they've done is, beyond replicating it, they actually help us implement across the 23 states. At the moment, they've trained to over 2,000 teachers across the states. They've trained about 150 school support officers who support, coach and mentor the teachers. So um, NSF is a good partner to work with and it still is. It was the same NSF that did training for SSOs. It was the same NSF that did training for head teachers. And I can tell they're doing a good work. You know, if you want to change the life of students, especially if you want to enhance the academic performance of the children, there is no way you can do that until you manipulate the teacher. And it is through this training that we are manipulating the teachers. We are updating them with new knowledge so that the performance of the children will now be enhanced. 
And what we are expecting from the children to see that they can be able to read and write and also they can be able to numerate some numbers. That is the target. <laughs>